Okay, I've got a 18 volt battery, a copper plate, and a zinc plated screw. I'm trying to make azurite crystals form on the copper plate through electrolysis. You can start to see the crystals forming. I want to pull this plate out, just take a look at it. It's like most of the crystals have fell off during the process. I'm going to stir the water up. Put a more concentrated dose of baking soda right on the plate. After a while, the coat coating on the plate starts to look like that. I think that's what we're looking for. I'm still going to try to utilize the crystals that are building up in the bottom. But... Okay, this is the end product. I mean, that stuff's on there pretty good. So, I don't know if y'all be able to see the sparkling the little crystals. This side looks a little bit different. What I did with this side is uh, I took the water and filtered it through a coffee filter and captured all the rest of the crystals and just put it on like a paste but this side was actually made through the electrolysis so you can definitely see a difference okay here's the finished product I used half alum and half Epsom salt melted it onto the aluminum and then put my plate on it that I made with the baking soda and distilled water. I'm going to show you the voltage of it and then I would like to put another aluminum plate on this section to see if the voltage will rise. That's 0.55 volt. I'm uh, put another quick sand on it. So always make sure it's real clean so it'll give it something to grip to. This is the Epsom salt here. Here's the alum. All right, it's getting to that temperature now. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it stirred up. Knock all my little chunks out that I see. I'm gonna blow my flame out. I'm going to stick my plate right on the top of it. 
put the plate on the ground. And I'm going to just put this battery right on top of it. You see I might have lost some of the Might have lost some of the mixture that was in it, but that's okay. I really almost believe the thinner the better. But we'll see. Alright, this is with just the two aluminum and one copper. From bottom to the top, you don't really get much. 0.2 volts. From the bottom... Stabilized at 0.46 and from the middle to the top. Notice how both of them are negative from the middle, but if I switch the leads around, they'll be positive. So I'm going to go ahead and add this other one on here. This next process may be a little tricky because uh, the spoon method didn't work. So what I had to do was uh, make the plate and then put the, the salts on it. So we'll see how this one works out. Pretty much got it flattened. I'm going to take it out. It says something real heavy on it. Let's give it a little time to cure. Alright, this is the final result. Um, you can see where I've scraped the, the coating of the copper off. That'll be my two copper leads and the aluminum. See, none of them's touching. Let's see how this voltage goes.
the first one I'm going to try is the one all the way at the bottom to the very top in between the two. We got point it's almost a volt and it's uh pretty stable. I'm gonna try the top to the second one. 0.69 volt. And let me try the the bottom copper and bottom aluminum. So overall this ain't been a a bad experiment but let's see what kind of power it's got. <laughs> 